If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about short book recommendations. I haven't done one in like two, three years and we're approaching towards the end of the year. So if you're trying to hit your reading goal or just trying to find a great books in general, I would recommend these books in this video. Some of these are all-time favorites, five stars. Some of these less so, but just because I didn't give them five stars doesn't mean you won't. So you know, I'm going to explain what they're about, what I liked, didn't like, that way you can make your own decisions. All of these are under 250 pages. That's kind of where I put the limit. Let me know if you want to see another one. I have done actually some in the past. I'll link down below if you are interested. But I also have some that are like 300, but they're quick reads. I can definitely do a video about that if you are in the mood for more, because in my opinion, you can't go wrong with small books once in a while. I tend to read a lot of like big sci-fi and fantasy, so sometimes you just need a little bit of a palate cleanser. So let's get to it. We're going to start with two books from a short story collection. Uh, both of them are under 100 pages. Actually, the first one is 38 pages and it is Emergency Skin by N.K. Jemisin. So this is personally my favorite part of the forward collection that's available on uh, Kindle. And I'm going to keep it super vague because 38 pages, but the author in general tends to have very strong opinions and I really, really like her writing. And this one you're following uh, someone that is from a different planet, human, that is sent to Earth trying to find something, but things just don't go as planned. That's all I can say, frankly. Uh, if you like her writing in general, I would recommend it. It's it's good. They're all sci-fi, by the way, part of the Ford collection. I would make that clear. Uh, the second one I think is going to be the most universally liked, and it is Summer Frost by Blake Crouch. You might know the author from Dark Matter, Recursion. He tends to write really intense uh, thriller sci-fi. And this one is a dystopian where uh, a video game creator gets a little too obsessed with a character from a video game and things happen. Because <laughs> that one is 75 pages, so again, keeping it vague, but I would highly recommend the short story collection in general, but these two specifically are quick read and I personally really enjoy them. Would it really be a favorites video, recommendation video, if I didn't find a way to sneak in some Becky Chambers? I don't think so. I love her. She tends to write really hopeful, wholesome, character-driven, kind of cozy sci-fi, which I don't feel like cozy in sci-fi, are often put together. But in between other books, I think that they're absolutely perfect. So I would highly recommend the duology. The first book is A Psalm for the Wild Built and book two is A Prayer for the Crown Shy. Absolutely adore this. It is so different from everything else I read. I tend to read pretty depressing books. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, but this one is pretty hopeful. We're following a monk in a version of her world where one day robots got up, left us, they wanted nothing to do with us, so humanity has to rebuild with very little technology. And you're following a tea monk. Basically their job is to bike from uh, village to village and just serve tea, talk to people. But they're not doing well either, so one day they just escape into the wilderness and they encounter a robot and they just strike a friendship, start talking. It's very character driven, but they're both like 150 pages, really quick reads. And I laughed a couple times, which again, I usually read depressing books. So this was really, really refreshing. It's just very soothing and calming. And I feel like we pr could probably all use a little bit of that right now. So highly recommend this one. Uh, the second one that I wanted to recommend by her is my all time favorite book. And I love it. There's just something so special about this. Uh, to be thought unfortunate, fortunate, you're following uh, a crew of astronauts that are sent on a different solar system to try to find signs of life, trying to possibly find a place for humanity. And as they are doing their research for years over there, uh, they lose contact with the planet. So what happened to humanity? What happens with their mission? I, I just, it's so good. It's so, so good. I think it's the only book I've reread since I started booktube. I've been trying to always, you know, read the newest book, blah, blah, blah. This one I read twice. So I love it. I love it. Can't recommend this enough. Now we're back to my depressing reads. Uh, the first one I want to recommend is this one. This is Kim Ji Young, born 1982. This was super controversial whenever it came out in South Korea because it's quite a feminist book. And obviously South Korea is still pretty conservative and there was some backlash behind it. And I adore this. Again, very, very short. This one is about like, 160 pages. Super quick read. You're following a woman who did, you know, everything that is expected of her. She uh, went to school, she got married, she has a baby, and people around her are starting to feel like she's slowly losing it. She's not acting normal. And you go back in time and kind of see like chunks of her life, childhood, teenage years, and how misogyny and just sexism in society is affecting her and or has affected her. And it's just so frustrating to read because of how relatable it is. And I loved it. Uh, I do think that it's important to mention the writing is a little bit on the dry side, but things make a lot of sense whenever you get to the ending, which 
I was so mad, but I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought my own copy. I read it from the library and I got this gorgeous UK edition because we never get pretty <laughs> editions over here, I feel like. But yes, I wanted to own this. That's how much I loved it. So five stars, recommend this. Just be warned that it's frustrating. <laughs> Next, I needed to rave about Dawn by Octavia E. Butler. She's now one of my all-time favorite authors. This is the first book in a trilogy. It's a sci-fi first contact with aliens, but it's one of the weirdest series I've ever read. All the books, I think all three, are under 250 pages, so they work for this video, and I loved it. Uh, essentially, following most of the story from the point of view main character, and uh, humanity would basically kill off each other, nuclear war, as we do, and uh, aliens arrive and swoop in and save what's left, and... They start making decisions for us, trying to find maybe a middle ground, uh, trying to ally together. I'm gonna keep this big. And oh my gosh, uh, first off, this book will make you super uncomfortable, like really, really uncomfortable. Also, in general, the author, I've read five of her books at this point, um, clearly <laughs> she feels like humanity were kind of shit. Um, she's not necessarily wrong with the scenarios she's showing in her books, but it's pretty depressing and I loved it. I, I can't. I can't say more, it's fantastic, do recommend it. Each book is almost a little bit of a companion novel. We're following the same story, but uh, through different characters and the ending was good. I feel like often the last book in a trilogy tends to be the weakest. Uh, this one, good ending, good ending, would recommend. I also wanted to sneak in a nonfiction in here because why not? Uh, this one is called, Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? <laughs> this was actually written by an author that uh, has a YouTube channel. Ask a Mortician, I believe. She has a couple different books, including this one. I didn't realize that this is technically written for children, so just be warned that obviously <laughs> not the target audience is an adult, but you can still read it. And it was fun, super quick. I believe the audiobook was like six hours, eight hours, something like that. And it's about death and what happens after you die, Mortician, right? And it's just really, really interesting. My only complaint is because I read it as an adult, I kind of wish it went even further. I need to actually check out her other books, but this was good, would recommend. If you want a really dark one, I would recommend Confessions. This one, oh my gosh, I was not prepared. Uh, I believe this is a Japanese movie also, which I've heard amazing things. I need to actually watch it. But you have a teacher who uh, is a teacher for 13 year olds. Yes. And uh, one day she talks in front of the class and tells them that she knows that the two people responsible for the death of her child or toddler are sitting right now in the class. And that's how it starts. Maybe I guess even Dark Academia, if we're stretching it a little bit. Does it work with middle school kids? Probably. Um, so that's how it starts. And then you see through like a couple different point of view what actually happened. My only complaint personally is that because you repeat the same story like five times, it got a little too repetitive, but you do get quite a bit that is different each story. So just, you know, you might feel completely differently. But yes, if you want to be uncomfortable, that that is also a good book. <laughs> Next, I wanted to recommend Convenience Store Woman, which is about 160 pages. You're following a 36-year-old woman uh, in Japan? Yes, Tokyo, Tokyo. And she works at a convenience store. Uh, she's been doing so most of her life and she just really likes it. I believe she's on the spectrum. And the first half, I really, really enjoyed this. She's just not doing what society expects of her. You know, everyone wants her to get a real job and get married and have babies. And she doesn't want to. And I really enjoyed the first half. The second half, I feel like I got really frustrated and I wanted things to be different. I feel like the author could have been more clear and went further in terms of like social commentary, but it doesn't seem to be the most popular opinion. I feel like the ratings in general are pretty hit and miss, so you're gonna either love it or maybe have a few complaints, but it's worth trying because again, 160 pages, you might absolutely love it. I do like the cover. Actually, both the options are pretty. So yes, I thought I would give it a shout out because it's quite popular. I've been seeing it going around, so if you want to try it, you can. So these are a couple of the short books that I've been reading in the last two, three years. So if you're looking for more recommendation, like I said, I will be linking down below or I'll put some on the screen. Uh, part one and part two that I had done a while ago when I had bangs. <laughs> I kind of missed them, but they were really high maintenance. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Please let me know in the comment section if you have read these books, what are your thoughts about them? Plus, mainly, I want to know your recommendations for books that are under 250 pages that you really, really enjoyed because I'm always looking for more. And let me know if you want to see part four. I can definitely do that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.